Hi, I'm James Knott with Noctera Brewing Company. I'm here to talk to Brian Duncan and Bruce Vivian, the brewers of Noctera Brewing Company, coming to you in fall 2018. How did you guys meet? So we met through homebrewing um, and through Buckeye Brewcrafts, like local homebrew shop in Westerville. Um, they were really great to, I think, a lot of startup homebrewers. The owner there is a real knowledgeable guy and gave everybody a lot of good advice. And he started having some contests. And then kind of the best part about his contest was everybody got together to be a part of the, like, you know, the, the contest, whoever wins. And you bring homebrew and you kind of all hang out in his shop and drink beer. And um, it was just a really great way to network with other people with like-minded interests. And uh, Brian and I kept just kind of bouncing off each other who was winning. So that, you know, struck us to talk to each other because uh, it was fun to, you know, taste each other's beers. Yeah, Brian, how long have you guys known each other? It's been a little over, what, probably four years now, four yep. and a half years. So you guys were like so. competitors at first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were competitors. <laughs> were you scoping each other out? Like, yeah, I mean, you you, ta you know taste each other's beer and you'd be like, yeah, that's pretty good. Or you know, like vice versa, trying to figure out, you know, how do you do this? Or like, where are those flavors you got? And I think that's all kind of part of the homebrew world starting off with that is it's so experimental because you essentially have no limits. You can make anything you want because you aren't committed to these huge volumes. So. Um, you know, you can really go anywhere you want with the beer. And that's, you know, I think what really drove us together was the kind of beers we like to make, you know, doing some of these sours and some of these IPAs that really, you know, drive the styles we like. So it's having those no limits, I think, what's kind of pushed us together sure. on that. And then how long did you guys know each other before you started brewing together? But we probably met in the spring of... Um, and then the first time we brewed together was November. So, okay. um, so your relationship developed really quickly. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what the first beer was that we brewed. It was well, we had a, well, a had sour separate. brew day. Oh, yeah, so, we did. We did, didn't we? You know, there wasn't a lot of homebrewers making sour beers, and you know, I think when I invited Brian over to in intentionally make, you know, some long-term sour oh, yeah, beers we, did blondes, weren't they? we came Blonde together sours, yeah. you know you split a, ba a big batch and i made five gallons of my system and i bought some you know interesting yeasts for some you know kind of smaller yeast suppliers and you had grown some pitches that you'd you know plated at home and yeah, some uh black and still <clears> strains and so we a couple of different britannomyces strains for that yeah so. it was cool so it was just a mix of you know his stuff that he had cultured himself stuff that i'd bought from the store and then you know there was not a lot of home brewers making sour beers that they were going to sit on for a year's time. So it was fun to get together. Just brew a and whole bunch of beer that <laughs> you're not even going to be able to taste for eight months. So, <laughs> And then I'd, I'd gone on some trips that summer and picked up a couple of cool bottles from different places. And it was just a fun way to share some, you know, new Glarus beers from Wisconsin and like some other, you know, kind of inspiring sour beer maker beers while we were brewing homebrew. 